Probably one of the uh, one of the most common questions I get asked as a orthopedic surgeon who treats hip and knee arthritis um, is what is arthritis? And I think that's a really really good question. I want you to understand it. So arthritis, we talk about it as if it is something like uh, you caught the flu or maybe a virus, but in truthfulness, arthritis is the absence of something. Arthritis is the absence of normal cartilage. So when we're young and, uh, and when we're born, we have thick cartilage that's on the end of our bone at our joints. And over time, that cartilage can wear thin like a tread on a tire. So maybe we start with really thick cartilage, but again, over time it wears thin like a tread on a tire. The bones become closer and closer together and ultimately you develop what we call bone on bone arthritis. So you see arthritis is the absence of something. It's the absence of normal cartilage. And I already alluded to one of the most common causes of arthritis. So if arthritis is the absence of normal cartilage, what causes it? Well, most commonly it's wear and tear. So just like we talked about, the tread on the tire. So as the tread wears down on a tire and the bones come closer and closer together, that's what arthritis is. And most arthritis is caused by the natural wearing away, wear or tear, the natural wearing away of that cartilage. But there are other causes. We also, we also talk about post-traumatic arthritis as a cause. So maybe you've had a, a dislocation of a hip. We've seen that in some of our sports athletes recently. That can lead to damage of the cartilage and therefore arthritis. Um, but also, so that's the post-traumatic piece. Or maybe you, maybe you had a fracture um, around the knee, like a tibial plateau fracture from a car wreck, some type of fracture that not only affected the joint, but the cartilage. And again, cartilage damage is what arthritis is the wearing away of normal cartilage. So we, we talk about causes of arthritis, wear and tear, which we talked about, that's the tread on the tire. We talked about post-traumatic, where an injury damages the cartilage. There's also a third type that we very commonly talk about, a third type of arthritis, and that's inflammatory arthritis. And I'll bet most of you can think of at least one, rheumatoid arthritis, right? That's an inflammatory type of arthritis. But in truth, there are hundreds of inflammatory arthropathies that damage the cartilage, that uh, cause destruction and loss of cartilage over time, usually due to an autoimmune response or, or, or some other mechanism, your body actually attacking your own cartilage. But whether your arthritis is from wear and tear, again, the most common type, or post-traumatic from a specific injury, or if it's from an inflammatory arthropathy like rheumatoid arthritis, no matter which of these three primary causes of arthritis you suffer from, the end result is arthritis, the wearing away or absence of normal cartilage. And once that cartilage is gone and you're bone on bone, what that causes is pain, uh, loss of function, and probably most importantly, the loss of a good quality of life. That's where we need to intervene.